Hello there, this is Rahil from All About Affiliate Marketing. And in today's video, we will talk about the affiliate program of Expedia. So let me take you to their website first, which is Expedia.com. For the ones who don't know what is Expedia, they are a kind of online travel agency. Through them, you could book stays, flights, car packages, things to do, and cruises. So you can come to the website and you can explore and see what can you do. But we are not here for booking, but what are we here to bring sales to them? And why would we do that? To earn commission. That's where affiliate program of Expedia come into picture. So if you bring sales to Expedia, you know, if, if any of your traffic makes the purchase on, on their website, like by booking, uh, stays, flights, car packages, things to do or cruises, you will be entitled to get commission. And you heard it right. Now let's look at some numbers and see how famous they are. So worldwide, they stand at 304 ranking that that's something like three and four worldwide in country 79 and in category of travel and tourism number two and if you look at their monthly visit they got over 100 millions user coming to the uh, to the website every month you see how famous they are so if you if you pr promote a, if you really want to promote a travel and agency kind of uh, brand, then I think Expedia could be your choice. So the question is, how do you join the affiliate program of Expedia? If you try to explore on their website, you won't be able to find anything in there. And why is that? Because to join the affiliate program, you have to join an affiliate network called CJ. So this is their website, cj.com. And what is cj.com? They're an affiliate network. What's the work of an affiliate network? Affiliate network work as a mediator between affiliates and brands. So in our case, we are affiliates and Expedia is a brand. So to join the affiliate program of Expedia, you first join, you first participate in affiliate network of CJ. Now, don't think of CJ being, you know, any lesser affiliate network. No, they are one of the top affiliate networks out there. So the question is, how do you join them? It's pretty simple. You have to click on sign up and then you have to go through with the registration process. But I also understand that register registration process is not as easy as it looks and don't you worry because i recently have created a video on how to join the affiliate network of cj and you will find the link of the video in the description you can just follow through the instructions and i'm sure you would be able to create an account with cj.com now let's say if you already have an account or if you ended up creating an account with them using sign up button you can click on login it should take you to this page where you can enter your email address and password and then enter and you would be able to see the dashboard. This is affiliate dashboard. And here you can you could not just explore Expedia, you can even explore other brands and you can you can join the affiliate program and start promoting them to our commission. But we are here especially for Expedia. So to join the affiliate program of Expedia, we can click on advertisers, which should take you to this section. You can wait for it to load for a few seconds. It generally take around five to six seconds to load. Once you're here, you can on, on the advertise search in here on the left hand side, you can search for Expedia and let it do the research and bring the result to you. So you see uh, for Expedia, we got too many listed items in here. Depending on your location, you can go with the one that you see is more suited to your location. Let's say if you don't find your location in here, then you want to go with the one uh, with the location from where you're getting more traffic from. So if you have a website, if your audience is generally from, let's say, from Italy, then you can select Expedia Italy. But in our case, we're going to go with Expedia Incorporated, which is for the U.S. region. Then I can click on search. You can also do that once you have selected the Expedia program, depending on your location. And once you do that, you would be able to see the information about the affiliate program. So as you can see Expedia, and if you scroll down, you would be able to see, okay, on up to 6% commission with Expedia for travel bookings, that becomes a completed stay. So as you can see, they are providing 6% commission on, on booking. And uh, not just that, they are also giving some deals and tools. So for example, they're, they're saying seven day action deferred period. That means let's say you joined the affiliate program of Expedia and you started promoting them and you, you that this, there's a person who click on a tracking link of yours that you have for Expedia, but doesn't make the purchase at the same time. Probably the person comes back within three or four days and makes the purchase later on the website. You would still be entitled to get commission. So long as the person return the person who clicked on your tracking link and returns within seven days window you would still be entitled to get commission 
Now, that person who returned, probably he, he might re-click on your tracking link or it doesn't matter if, if even if he doesn't re-click on it. The point is, from the moment when he click on the tracking link, if he returns within seven days, even directly to the Expedia website, you will still be entitled to get commission from them. Then you get weekly newsletters, new deals and seasonal offers for US and international travel. And for if you would have selected other Expedia, the same thing would apply there, but the region would would get changed. So the point is you get new deals and seasonal offers that you could promote your traffic. Then comes discounted deal. How about you get 40% off coupons, 30% off coupon, 20% off coupon. So all this is possible. If you join the affiliate program of Expedia, you can get all these offers, which again, you can promote to your audience or traffic. Then come widgets. You could even get search form or dynamic ad widgets. Now that means you can get search kind of uh, links and you can place it on your website. People can come, they can directly search the destination over there and go to the Expedia website. That's amazing. You know, it's it's really dynamic and uh, interactive kind of widget deck that you can use. Then they are also providing a product catalog. That means that they have over 100,000 hotel properties. You can just pick any and you can promote if you like. And then deep linking uh, possibility. Now what is deep linking? Let's say, you're on Expedia website and you want to get a tracking link for a specific web page. Deep link allows you to create tracking links for any web page on the Expedia website. So yes, you could create your own tracking link and start promoting them. There are some restrictions though. As you can see the restrictions in here, we do not pay commission uh, three PP vacation packages or cruises sold through Expedia.ca. Now that's that. this is for Expedia.ca. Uh, just for NFI. So when you're promoting Expedia.ca, you should be careful of that. Uh, as such, you won't get commission for 3PP vacation packages or cruises. Then affiliates are not allowed to promote Expedia.com or Expedia.ca via Twitter, Facebook, or Facebook advertising unless approved in writing by Expedia. So yes, you heard it right. Social media, it's kind of not allowed by Expedia. Then what about Instagram? What about other social media platforms like Pinterest? Would they allow that is something that you can discuss with Expedia once you get approved. But the point is, it seems like they're, they're generally providing approval for the website or the blog. So if you have social media, still it's, it's fine. You can apply to the affiliate program. Let's see what they say. And probably, you know, once you get the approval, you can reach out to them again and, you know, seek out uh, more. Let's say if they rejected you, you can, you know, again, reach out to them and ask for more. So that's how you can do. Then comes tools, toolbars, browser application and or extensions are not permitted unless approved in writing. So there are some affiliates. If, if you like that, for example, you see this as an extension. So there are some affiliates who do affiliate marketing through extensions. And if you're that kind of affiliates, then sorry to say that, but Expedia don't allow that. So these are some restrictions to keep in mind. You can even click on see more and to have more information. Now let's look at the commission details more. For that, you can click on program terms and you can see for car uh, booking, they're providing 2% commission. For cruise uh, booking, 6%. For packages, 2%. For activity, 5 For ground transfer, 5 and for hotel and vacation rental, 3%. So you can export the section and you can see for each thing what they are providing, you know, the commission. And then there are search, search campaign instructions as well that, uh, that you have to follow. And then unacceptable website as well that have mentions. And show when you're applying to them, you read through the policies and try to understand what they allow and what they don't allow. So this would give you an idea whether you are a good fit to them or not. I know it's too much to read, uh, but it will be less painful. And before you even apply, you could work on these things and you can just pass the approval from them. So this is about like the affiliate program of Expedia. Let's say you are in compliance with the policies and even apply to them. How do you do that? Because so far you did sign up and then sign up with what? With CJ.com. But to start promoting Expedia, you should apply to the affiliate program through CJ dashboard that we are looking at. To do that, you have to click on apply to program button in here. When you do that, you will see this window would open and it will say to join the advertiser program, you must approve some terms and condition in addition to the commission junction program service agreement. So ensure you read through it entirely, you understand it. And once you have understood it, you can scroll to the down to read it. And once you have understood it, you can click on accept and apply. And when you would do that, your application to 
to uh to the advertiser would go the brand would go the expedia so you can click on close and your application will be sent out to them now they would take from any time from uh from two days to one week of time it's better to give give them this much of time and once you get the approval from them you will be notified via email just keep an eye and once you successfully have gotten the approval the question is how exactly can you promote so as i say you could promote them on website or blog if you are interested to promote them on social media you could always reach out to them and you know to ask more uh, you would be able to find contact information somewhere here between more info and the other sections in here so let's say you got the approval from them and you started promoting them and you started bringing sales to them so the commission that that you will be getting how will you be getting from them so that's where cj come into play so all the commission that will get generated between you and Expedia that you're entitled to get will be accumulated in your CJ.com account. And how will you get it? That is via CJ. So for that, you can go to accounts in here and you can go to administrative settings. And this is a place where you can update your payment settings. So you could, when we talk about the payment methods, currently CJ got Pioneer and the direct deposit. So you could go with any of these payment methods, direct deposit as in, let's say you have a bank account in your regional country, just enter the banking information, you'll get the commission directly to your bank account. Otherwise, you can also go with the pioneer option. And the other scenario is all the commission that gets generated in your CJ account, you will not be able to get the commission unless the accumulated commission exceeds $50. So that's the payment threshold. That's something to keep in mind. So yes, once you start generating the commission and when, when it exceeds 50, that, that will be the time when you will start getting commission from CJ. So this brings us to the end of the video. Any question that you got in relation to affiliate marketing or if you want me to create a video on the affiliate program of any brand, do let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to address that either via comment or by creating video. So I hope the video was helpful to you and sure you like the video, click on the bell icon and subscribe to the channel so that any video I create like this, you get notified for the same. Thanks for watching.